Welcome to the video. I'm Dying Legacy, and you're here looking to learn the ins and outs of being a healer. Or to at least learn to keep your party alive long enough to revel and stand to attention at the amount of pain and suffering being inflicted on your teammates as you get to watch. You sadist. Welcome to a quick six step guide to healing. First things first, you need to choose a healer. With the Endwalker expansion, we currently have four healing jobs to choose from. First, we have the White Mage textbook definition of a healer. It's as healy and unimaginative as your playstyle before you found this guide. The white mage also really, really loves nature and flowers. Second, we have the scholar, who, with the help of a summonable pixie, prefers to shield the party as well as heal them. The scholar had the added bonus of leveling simultaneously with the summoner job, so you get two jobs for the price of one, with the added stigma that we all know you only level summoner. Did you even earn the pixie? Third choice is the astrologian. This healer is a little too into astrology, using the power of tarot cards, the stars and horoscopes to stitch your mangled carcass back together. They also don't take Capricorns and think your DPS is in retrograde. The Astrologian is the support healer, buffing the party by reading their star signs. Our fourth and last choice is the Sage. The Sage traded in their herbs and medicinal tea for lasers. Basically a lot less Doctor House and a lot more Luke Skywalker with a medical license, which really sums that choice up. Pew pew and heal you, Jedi Surgeon. Their healing is a lot more DPS based, where you need to attack to heal. Now that you've chosen your healer, it's time for the six step program to get you on your feet. Step one, DPS. DPS a lot. As much as you think that being a healer means you're just there to heal, you're wrong. You're a DPS with responsibility. Say it with me now, responsibility. You will need to DPS as much as possible as you should realistically have a lot of downtime between healing, especially on bosses. That hit like feather dusters in comparison to the hate mob the tank will pick up on their way to the boss. The idea is that you needn't really heal someone above 20% health unless it's a strong mechanic, and because DPS costs a lot less mana for a healer compared to healing, you'll find a lot of the time you'll regenerate mana faster than you use it. Besides, healing won't beat an enraged timer or calm a distraught party who's taking 6 months to beat a single duty. Step 2. Targeting is important, obviously because you'll need to target party members to heal. Of course, you can just click on the party frames like a peasant if you have the reflexes of a starved rabbit cat, of which I do not, to be honest. But in my own opinion, using hotkeys or keybinds when you're trying to switch from target to target to DPS and to heal make things drastically easier. By default, the F numbered keys are for your party. You can use them to quickly target a party member. And you can also use focus target to target someone like the tank. Not only does this keep your regular pain consuming connoisseur front and centre to keep an eye on easier, but by default you can use the F key to target a focus target. Step 3. Use Asuna. Asuna dispels things like poison, paralysis and other debuffs and other nuisances. Anything that can be dispelled with Asuna will have a bright blue line over the debuff icon. Dispelling these will not only save you as a healer the cost of therapy from seeing the giant stack of poison on the tank, but it will also save you the mental collapse of running out of mana trying to keep up with the healing involved. Step 4. Use Lucid Dreaming on cooldown. Why? No mana equals no heals and no damage. So click it for more mana, more heals and a lot more damage deals. Lucid Dreaming increases your mana regeneration for a while. If you use it on cooldown, you'll have a lot longer uptime on the regeneration involved. Pop a spell or two before using it though, so you actually have something to regenerate. Step 5. Swift Cast. This will be your best friend in many situations. This causes your next spell to be instant, like Raze for example. With having to constantly marathon run out of mechanics or participate in the Olympics with a tank aiming to set a world record in the dungeon sprint, Swift Cast will make a spell an instant cast, which makes Swift Cast an instant win. Step 6 Limit Breaks. Limit Breaks are game changers for all roles, but as a healer, you may never need to use it. Doesn't mean you never will, though. There will come a time when you need to pop a level 3 limit break as a healer to remind the party that you are in fact a god and the MVP of today's jaunt through this party's outing. A level 3 limit break for healers will revive all downed party members and heal for a significant amount, and that deserves the damn respect of the party. And finally step 7. No, I'm just kidding. I said you were getting 6 steps and that's all you're getting. For now, until I decide to do a job guide, that is. But for a role guide, that's all you need to get started. Don't worry about skills when you start out, let the game teach you as you go, and you'll be completely fine. Every job has a multitude of skills and mechanics that would turn this 4-5 to five minute role guide into a full length documentary that my accent and sarcasm could never pull off. Plus, getting a full detailed rundown and job guide of all the healers and their mechanics from a sprout with 1500 hours playtime and counting over the last 9 months. 
doesn't sound all that reliable now, does it? Anywho, if you have any questions or suggestions or just want to know more, comment below. And since you're already down there, why not like and subscribe? If by any chance you prefer to ask me directly, you can find me streaming live over at twitch.tv slash dyinglegacy. You can be present when I finally start and finish Endwalker and graduate from Sprout. With that all said and done, I've been Dying Legacy. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and keep being awesome.